everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Samantha and if you're new welcome today I'm going to be showing you um, the main products in my January 2021 makeup basket um, a lot of them they're gonna stay consistent until I use them up um, and then some things might be rolling in and out depending on the month so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to start with lip products because those are one of those things that is going to be rolling and switching out pretty frequently. Um, these are the main ones I want to focus on this month and they will probably switch up or, you know, um, I know one of them I'll be leaving in until I finish it. <laughs> um, and that is the NYX Lingerie push up in uh which which one is this this is in the shade teddy i'm actually wearing it on my lips today with another lipstick on top of it and that's what that looks like i really like this lipstick um i think i can finish it this year i don't have a whole whole lot left um but i want to pan this and get this out of my collection just because I bought so many nude brown lipsticks on Black Friday, I kind of went a little overboard. And this is the oldest one at this point in my collection, even though I did buy it last year. Um, moving on, this lipstick, this YSL lipstick is in my um, pro uh, birthstone project pan. Um, and I'm strictly doing that over there on Instagram. And it's this red lipstick. I just want to get some use out of it. Maybe make that swatch a little bit bigger. Um, I just want to get some use out of it this month. Um, and yeah, I don't know how much I will be able to use up. Um, this is another lipstick I'm hopefully going to be able to get out of my collection this year and use up. The next one is MAC and this is in the shade Fresh Brew. If you notice there might be a theme I'm really feeling like nudie brown lips and this is almost like honestly I feel like this could this lipstick it's so sheer how that I feel like I could just put on some mascara and eyeliner and this for like a no makeup makeup look and be happy with it so I do enjoy that. I've only used it a handful of times. It is new to my collection. I got it in a boxy charm, and so far I've been enjoying it. The next two are Sephora lipsticks, and I like pairing them on top of this just to give it a different look. And this is from Sephora. It's in the shade Gingerbread. And let's see if I can give you a good swatch. It looks like that. This one's a little more glittery and I really do want this one and I have a pink glittery one. I want them both out of my collection. They just don't feel very nice on my lips. So I think the best bet for those two lipsticks is to like layer them with something so they're not gritty. I also have the shade Toast, which is another brown nude that I have been pairing with um, my lip laundry push-up. So those are all the lipsticks that I am focusing on for January. Again, these will be changing. Um, this one will stay in my collection until it's done. I'm debating on keeping this in my makeup basket until it's done, um, but we shall see. Moving on to face products. Um, I am using the e.l.f. MAC Putty Primer. This is not my favorite primer. I just want this out of my collection. I want it gone. It's a little too drying for my face. Um, but I'm going to use it up. I have the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. Um, I recently purchased this and so far so good. And then I also rolled rolled in the Muse Cosmetic Eyeshadow Primer. I actually like this one a lot better than the e.l.f. Putty Primer as of right now. 
Um, my e.l.f. Putty Primer, I don't know if this is the way it normally is, but it dried out really, really quickly. And I had to keep rehydrating it last year to be able to get use out of it. And this last time, just there was no reviving it. So I had to, I called it an empty. So I moved this in instead. Um, let's see. I am using my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in Satin Finish. This is in the shade Light Peach. And I can... You can see there's a little bit of a window in it. It's been a really long time since I've used up a concealer at all. I normally don't use concealer. I don't tend to use foundation a whole lot. Um, so I'll be interested to see how long it takes me to finish this up. For my eyebrows, I am still working on the It Brow Powder Pencil in Universal Taupe. I have this much left. Let's see. Um, so, and I don't use a whole, whole lot of it just to kind of fill it in a little bit. I do enjoy this pencil, but I might try the e.l.f. one uh, next because I heard it's comparable to this once this is gone. I am also using the AOA Studios Glitter tacky base eye primer i feel like this is more like an eyelash glue but um i'm gonna be doing a wear test on this in the next couple of days just to see how this works for me um and if it's any good um pretty much i'll just use it up even if it's not the best um mascara i literally just rolled this in this morning i was working on the maybelline colossal big shot mascara but that was a really dry like drier than i remember it being and just it wasn't doing really anything for my lashes so i decided to roll in the milk makeup kush mascara i got this uh this was one of the sephora birthday gifts for 2020 um, so I'm rolling that, I rolled that in this morning. Um, and I'm also using the e.l.f. No Budge Retractable Eyeliner in black, which I like. Don't sleep on e.l.f. eyeliner. That's what I'm kind of figuring out. Um, I really do help, like how this applies. It's really creamy and very black, like a lot of eyeliners say they're black, but they're not like black, black, if that makes sense. Um, so this is really nice. I'm also going to be using my Milk Makeup uh, Lip and Cheek um, Cream Blush. I'm using this strictly as a bl cream blush, and it's in the shade Work. This also came in this set for our birthday gift set and it came with a hydro primer sample which I already used up I really enjoyed that um, I'm also using this AOA lip sugar at fix lip scrub and then it's in the raspberry scent I do have a pretty good tip going so this might be gone by the end of the month but I purchased like three of these I purchased the raspberry the strawberry and the white peach one. Um, I'm also using the Iconic London Blaze Chaser Face Palette. It has some highlighters, two blushes, and I've been using this shade as a bronzer or a contour. Um, so I'm going to continue working on this face palette. Now for the main event, which is eyeshadow, I am going to be working on this um, ColourPop like white cream matte shade. I do want to get this out of my collection. This will be the shadow that I use to set my eyeshadow primer um, until it's gone. I pretty much focus on one like cream skin tone color for that until it's gone, and then I try to find something else in my collection to use. And then I have four other just singles that I'm going to be focusing on um, that I've depotted. This is another ColourPop shadow, and this is for my Care Bears Project fan. Um, so there's that. 
and these other three are also for my Care Bear project pan and I don't remember where they're from but they're in my uh, magnetic palette so there's this blue shade this teal shade and I know for a fact this is a Franken shadow but I don't remember what I Frankened it with um, but this this purple violety shade it's more like a maroony brown um, when you apply it but I really like it I like how it turned out and I'll be pulling out the Queen palette because this is the newest palette in my collection I got this also in a boxy charm in December and the shade Elizabeth here is in my Care Bear project pan and I do want to play around with this a little bit more just to test the formula I've only used it like a handful like maybe once or twice um, so far I really like the shimmers the mattes I think I need to work with a little bit more to see if I can build them up or what I need to do to get the most impact out of them because they're really pretty it just I feel like you have to build them up they remind me of the NYX um, Ultimate Brights palette how they look really nice in the pan but when you apply them they kind of like you're like where's the color that's kind of what I'm getting from this but the shimmers are so pretty the shimmers they did great on and then last but not least, the last focus product I'm going to be using for January is my Pan That Palette, the Bad Habit Athena Palette. It looks like this. I really do need to clean this up, so I do apologize if it looks absolutely disgusting. Um, but this is what it looks like. Um, I'm going to be trying to hit pan in the shade Power, which is right here, and use up the shade Truth right here. Um that's my goals for this month we'll see if i can meet them and by all means especially with lip products and eyeshadow i will probably pull in other things um, but these are the main things that i want to try to reach for and get the most use out of this month and i think this will help me stay accountable to be like okay well i said i'm going to use this 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 and this mm, let's try to use that instead of pulling something else out um, because I feel like I tend to do that if I don't have a have a set plan if that makes sense but if you like this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe I greatly appreciate your feedback um, let me know if you enjoy seeing like makeup baskets and um, if you want to see everything I end up working on um, if you'd be interested in that let me know Maybe I can do um, a little review of what I ended up using and what I didn't when I do my February makeup basket. Um, with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.